Hello everybody, Destroyer here, and welcome back to uh, another tutorial video. And today's tutorial, of course, is on how to play Age of the Ring through Game Ranger. So, to start out, of course, you're going to want to download the Age of the Ring. <laughs> but, but this isn't about that, of course. You're going to want Game Ranger, obviously. And you're going to want this file here. And this file here is the file that you'll need, which it will be in the link in the description below, which will be from this page here, of course. The Age of the Ring Game Ranger patch, I will link just straight up to this, pa this page here. You want to click download now for the Age of the Ring Game Ranger patch. It should either download automatically, or, of course, you, if it doesn't, you click that. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it, but that's what you need. And you'll get this zip file here. Which you can, of course, open with WinRAR or 7-Zip or something of that nature. I'm sure we all know how to open a zip file by now. But you're going to want to open that. I use WinRAR myself, and it works just fine. As you see, I didn't pay for it. Of course, pff, who would? Alright, so, this is what you have here. You can extract that to a folder on your desktop or something. Just anywhere, really. It's the uh, stuff you're going to want, so I would suggest doing that. So that's what I did. I just copied all these, dragged them to a folder, and then, uh, obviously, they're, they were already there, so I had to replace them. But And then they'll be here. You don't have to do that. You can leave them in there if you like and just put them from your, uh, your WRAR file to your files if you want. But we're going to, for this tutorial, just... Extract them first. Let me get rid of the duplicates because I accidentally made that. So this does have a tutorial inside of it. So in theory, you shouldn't even need my tutorial. But in case you do, because it might have have you a bit stumped, perhaps I'll show you how I got it to work, and hopefully not ramble on too much. So we've already failed that. What was I doing? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is take this. Let's follow the instructions on here, first of all. This will help you out. Extract this lower BFME2 episode uh, EP1 EXE file into the Age of the Ring folder. So we have it here. We are going to find our Age of the Ring folder, which of course should be... Mine is in the Program Files 86 of my C drive. There's the Age of the Ring folder there. You want to open that up and put that bad boy... Uh, okay, you don't want to do that. Scratch, scratch that. You're gonna to want to open a, uh, open the RAR file, and you're just gonna extract it directly into your Age of the Ring uh, directory here, because apparently you can't just take it from a folder and copy it over for me at least. So you want to take this, drag it in here, and there you go. You should have a loader beef me two EP one exe in your Age of the Ring folder. Great. So, with that, let's see what's next. Launch Game Ranger. I've done so. Game Ranger's open. There it is. Alright, go to Edit, Options, Rise of the Witch King, Browse. So, what that means, of course, is Edit here, this Edit tab, go to Options, down here. And you're going to want to scroll down, it'll probably start you up here, scroll down until you find a Rise of the Witch King. It should start with T, because this is the Rise of the Witch King. And if you have it installed or whatever, it probably should also be highlighted in black. Bold italic. Not italic, just bold. So there it is. You're going to want to take that. So you're going to hit Browse. And it'll probably be pointing to your default Rise of the Witch King uh, launcher or whatever. But what you're going to want to do is change this to where the, uh, the one you just put into your Age of the Ring folder is. So you're going to want to find your Age of the Ring files. So mine is in my C drive. Go to uh, Program Files 86. Age of the Ring, and then you're going to want to click on this Loader Beef Me 2 EP1 file that you just put into your Age of the Ring folder. Click Open, and then you can close that. So now, when you try to launch Rise of Wishing, it'll use that that file instead of the uh, the other one there. So, now let's see. Before launching the game, unhook Rise of Wishing T3 if you use it. So make sure you do that. I don't need to do that because mine is not, of course, hooked. T3 launcher conflicts with the Game Ranger one, so yeah, if you're having problems, make sure you deal with that. When you launch as host for the first time, a new window will appear. You could do that, or alternatively, 
the easier way, so you don't actually have to launch as a host, you can just launch it from here. If you launch this in your Age of Learning folder for the first time, it should bring up this window here, and that's what it's talking about. If you do, if you make a lobby in Game Ranger and someone joins you and then you start a game, this will also pop up for you now that you've tried to use this file here as your launching thing. So what you're going to do with this is, let's see, game executable, navigate the location of your vanilla Rise of Witch King exe file. So this is the default, of course, path file in your program files, 86 Electronic Arts, Rise of the Witch King, and then you find the actual thing. So we're going to do that now. So let's find that. Uh, it's, mine's in C drive. Program file is 86. And then you're going to want to find the Electronic Arts folder. And of course, this will vary depending on where you installed your Rise of the Witch King in your all that stuff, so uh, make sure you're pointing it to the right place. I'm, of course, just pointing it to mine because that's where I installed my game, obviously. And then you're going to want to find the Lord Beef Me to EP file in your Rise of the Witch King folder. Click that. That should have that selected there. Now, there's one more thing to do here. And that is this extra flags thing. You're going to want to copy this right here. And of course, this is if you installed your Age of the Ring to the default installer path. So that is what I've used. If you have located your games elsewhere, the easy way is finding the right path is go to the shortcut and copying the slash mod command. So there you go. You're going to want to point it to your Age of the Ring folder. So you're going to copy that. And you're going to want to paste that there. So that's all you should do. Make sure this is pointing to your Age of the Ring folder. If this is not where your Age of the Ring folder is, make sure it is in the correct area. And then you want to start game. In theory, you should be launching Age of the Ring. I don't know if it'll detect me launching Age of the Ring. Probably not. Let's find out. Uh... No. No, it isn't. <laughs> and this is... Yes, it is. What? I'm so confused right now. It launched, but it's also said it didn't launch. Which is confusing. If your game doesn't launch, then I will... No, it's not actually launched. Weird. Oh, it is. My game has launched just fine. I say just fine loosely, of course. As I will show you. My game is actually open. As it should detect my... Uh thing and then you would go of course if it ever detects the game there it is you would go to multiplayer and network when you launch game ranger you should know how to use game ranger by now if you're trying to use it but if you don't of course uh you play through the network tab and it should auto launch once you hit uh our lobby in game ranger so now if your game does not launch that is probably because this has reset your resolution for your game and it will no longer launch. That is a common problem, it seems. I haven't had that issue myself, but some people have reported that issue. There's a few ways you can fix this, of course. The easiest way is to launch your 2.02 uh, launcher, which, of course, Age of the Ring is based off of, so you should have this. And you should be able to fix your resolution with the uh, resolution fixture here. And then you can tell it what to do. That's my resolution, because I have two monitors, of course. It says 3840, but mine's 1920 by 1080. And then you're going to hit apply, and it should, in theory, fix your resolution. If that doesn't work for some reason, you could, of course, go to your roaming folder, which I have to type in percent app data percent. There's my roaming folder. And then go down to the, my Lord of the Rings Rise of Witch King files. Find my options.ini file, and then edit the resolution line here. And then you change that to what you need it to be. And then save that, and that would also fix it. Alternatively, there is a third thing I will link in the description, which is the Rise of Wish King startup fixer. Which is something you can also try. So I'll link this page in the description, and you can download this. And then I guess you just run it. I'm not I'm not actually going to use this because I don't want to screw up my game. Because who knows what it does. <laughs> but in theory, it should start... It, I think it just 
adds the uh, the options to ANI file with the right resolution in. It tells us what it does there. So that's that's another alternative you could use to help you out. And I believe that's it. So from Game Ranger, of course, you'd host a game, and then you would uh, load in. I always get this port restricted code and adder thing, but I've already unlocked my port. Unblocked my ports, rather. I just still get it for some reason. But when you hit start, if you have enough players, it will pop up that thing, and then you just... Uh, I can actually show you what thing. It will pop up this window when you hit start here, from now on, and then you would hit start game, and it would launch like normal, and then you can play Age of the Ring through Game Ranger that way. If you'd like to not play Age of the Ring, and you're like this still pops up and you're wondering, well, how do I play 2.02 now? You just delete this lo this line here, and you hit start game. That's literally all you have to do. And you should be able to uh, just play 2.02 that way now. So it's a little, it's a one extra button step from normal launching from now on. But really, in the grand scheme of things, that's not a, that's not a huge deal, is it? It allows you to play. Things that you couldn't normally play on Game Ranger, so it's pretty cool. And I believe that's pretty much it. So for the most part, let me just uh, make sure that <laughs> Lord of the Rings music isn't on. Nobody wants that up there. I do actually, but I can't, of course, for obvious reasons. There you go. That should be that should be everything you need. I believe. So hopefully that has been helpful. If you do have any issues. You can post them in the comment section. I can't promise I will reply to it, of course, but, you know. I would recommend going maybe on the T3A Discord or something and asking for help as well if you're having a real issue. I'll leave that in the description as well. And, yeah, that's about it. So hopefully that's been helpful, and I will see you all next time.